What's going on everybody? Zach Britton here with Phipps Britton Real Estate. I'm a local real estate agent and investor here in Waterloo Region. And this video is all about why you should be investing right here in Waterloo Region Real Estate. If you're considering investing in Southern Ontario or specifically Waterloo Region, maybe even you're considering moving here, this is a fantastic video for you. We'll be breaking down the seven key factors that you need to know. If you know absolutely nothing about Waterloo Region, this would be super powerful. If you're familiar with the area and doing some more research, this will really help you figure out what information you still need, as well as some resources and links to help you get started. So let's get right into the number one factor that makes Waterloo Region a fantastic place to move and invest in right now. First and foremost, the number one factor that makes Waterloo Region an attractive place to invest in as well as live in is the location. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it a thousand times in real estate, especially location, location, location. We're about an hour to an hour and a half away from the GTA, which is the largest market in Ontario, the largest market in Canada. And there is a lot of features and amenities there that people that live in Waterloo Region or invest in Waterloo Region have access to. Furthermore, we are about two and a half, three hours away from the United States. We are fairly close, the United States being very big, travel, amenities, work, so on and so forth. It's great to be close to them. Finally, as well, if you look at Waterloo Region just itself, is we have room to grow out and up. There is still lots of room for building and development in our area. So geographically, we are close to two really important markets being the States and the GTA, as well as having space around the existing cities to build out and densification to build up. I like these things. It makes it attractive to be and invest in Waterloo Region. The second factor making Waterloo Region attractive for investors and people moving and living here is infrastructure and more specifically transportation. Now Waterloo Region has gone over a major overhaul in their transportation systems, and especially in the last five to 10 years. First and foremost, the 401. The 401 has always been a part of Waterloo Region as long as I've been around, and they've been expanding it and maintaining it consistently in the last 15 years. And this is super important because it gives people access that are living and working in the GTA or in Waterloo Region to access that market for work, lifestyle, whatever it may be. That's a great sign to see consistent investment in this as well. It shows that there's going to be a lot of transportation, a lot of transit to and from those major markets. Furthermore, 401 continues on down towards London and the United States, making those markets more accessible for people living and working in those areas as well. You love to see it. Now, second is we have a local highway system that connects a lot of other major cities and townships. You know, highways going out towards Guelph, Wellington County, as well as highways going out towards Cambridge and North Dumfries. These are all transit systems that allows local transportation a little bit more easily. And we're seeing a lot of development and redevelopment surrounding these major transit hubs. Also a great sign. Now, for those of you that don't know, Waterloo Region also has a light rail transit system. This is a local public transit system that goes from Kitchener to Waterloo. Now this connects major shopping and amenity centers as well, which now act as local transit systems and hubs for bus and light ion rail transit routes. Furthermore, the ion rail is actually gonna be expanded. They're gonna expand the ion rail from Kitchener all the way out to Cambridge now as well. This is fantastic for development, making transportation amongst locals a lot easier. And I think will promote further investment in these areas along the light transit rail system lines. Take a peek at that. Now on the topic of rail systems, we also have GO and VIA rail station right here in downtown Kitchener. Now what this is, is this is the GO station that's gonna be going to and from the GTA, as well as act as a VIA rail hub for people that are traveling on that line as well. This is fantastic. Ever since they've added it, they've only talked about expanding these lines as well, making Waterloo Region attractive for people that need to commute to and from maybe the GTA or the London markets, making it more accessible for people and making it a more attractive place to live if people are looking to live outside of those major market centers. Now, finally, for those of you that didn't know, Waterloo Region also has an international airport. Breslau or Waterloo Region International Airport is just outside of Breslau. It's about a 15 minute drive from anywhere in Waterloo, Kitchener and Cambridge, super accessible for locals as well. They're consistently talking about expanding the facilities as well as the volume of flights coming to and from. This is a great sign, meaning there's more transportation and access to more, um, you know, basically more locations for anybody that's living and working in this local area. It gives you an option so you don't necessarily have to drive to Toronto or other major airports to access those things. So these are all fantastic signs and all of which are experiencing growth and promoting more development right here in Waterloo Region.
factor. The third one is going to be employment. So you need to know that people are actually going to be working and making money here so they can eventually pay rent if you're considering investing in Waterloo Region and renting out to tenants. That's really important. So just so you guys know, Waterloo Region was forecasting a 50% employment growth by 2030 on the last census data. That is fantastic signal. That shows that they're going to be, they're expecting and going to be investing in employment right here in Waterloo Region. And if you're a local, you've already seen, you know, industrial parks expanding, you've seen neighborhoods really expanding, and you've seen an intensification in the downtown and the uptown areas, which we're gonna to touch on, don't worry. But it's important to note for those of you that aren't familiar with the area, that traditionally the employment structure kind of goes like this. Waterloo Region was traditionally a manufacturing city and township. You know, hundreds of years ago when it was first settled, lots of Dutch, lots of German, lots of agriculture, lots of auto, lots of furniture as well. And these are really common. Nowadays, manufacturing is still the largest employer, but you also have large employers in spaces like healthcare, education, science research and development, as well as financial services. And we'll go into those a little bit further, but if you're looking for more clarity and more details on this, there's a few links in the description that you can go to to find some more specific data. But the key thing here for you as somebody that's doing research or considering investing in water the region is to understand that people are employed here. Take a look maybe at the unemployment rates as well as average incomes. There's lots of resources to get that data. And like I said, we have some links in the description if you wanna check it out there. So the fourth factor that makes water the region really attractive to invest in is education. And first we'll just start with, you know, the fact that we have good public and Catholic schools all the way from, you know, JK up to high school. There's also a few private school options that are fantastic and draw, you know, students from all over. But the most important part about this section is really the post-secondary. And this is one key factor that a lot of investors are really noticing. And some investors even jump into first. You know, a lot of people first get into student rentals, can be a great option. But without going too far into student rentals, what I want to highlight here is the fact that there is three big and successful post-secondary institutions. Conestoga College in Kitchener, their main Dune campus is out by the 401, so it's super accessible by commuters. It's also very close to Cambridge. The next two, Waterloo, University of Waterloo and Wilfrid Laurier, both in Uptown, kind of by that King and University intersection. It's in the heart of the Uptown area. They are big and they are growing like crazy. Stop right here if you aren't familiar with the area. I encourage you, go into Google Maps and look at the sheer size of the Waterloo campus. It is a city in its own, anywhere from 30 to 50,000 plus people there at any given time. It is incredible and it is growing all the time. It's a fantastic signal for anybody that's looking to invest in a marketplace when you have large institutions that are successful and continuing to reinvest in their local market. Now, that doesn't mean I'm saying, hey, everybody go invest in a student rental. But what I am saying is this is a key draw for talent. And if people are coming to study, work, and research here, they are likely to stay and reinvest in the local areas in which they live. This is fantastic and encourages business development and investment, which further reinforces that this could be a great market to invest in because there is growth coming to the area. And this is not a fact that should be overlooked. So if you're considering looking at Waterloo Region to move or invest in, take a peek at the map. You'll be surprised at how large that is. And it's also encouraging to see all of those three major institutions investing in new campuses and new buildings and new research right here in the local marketplace. A very good sign for investors. Above and beyond that, the fifth factor you need to know about and why you should be investing in Waterloo Region is the sheer investments that are coming into Waterloo Region in many different avenues. Number one, if you didn't know, Waterloo Region is a big tech hub for North America and a very even bigger and more important one specifically for Ontario and Canada. Dubbed the next tech town in North America, Waterloo Region sees the highest investment per capital from venture capitalists. Let me say that again. Waterloo Region is experiencing the highest cap venture capitalist investment per capita than anywhere else in North America, and it's not even close. I have a link to the, to the graph in the data below in the description. It will blow your mind. We are blowing everybody else into the, out of the water. There is more venture capital money coming into Waterloo Region per capita than anywhere else in the world. That signals to me that there is significant investment in the tech and research spaces right here in Waterloo Region. That further encourages employment, more research, and more investment in local businesses, bringing more talent and keeping them here. And that is a fantastic signal. And above and beyond that, there's already research and development institutes for things like physics, quantum computing, AI technology, as well as manufacturing and automotive sectors. 
These are important sectors that we have already really established here in Waterloo Region, but when we're seeing institutes like this that are consistently investing in doing research more, that further entrenches that these are here to stay and there's gonna be more investment dollars and more talent coming here, furthering the cycle that there's people living, working, and investing in this local region. That is a great signal to me. Above and beyond that, there is significant investments in transportation hubs like the ION, like the GO station, and like our international airport. This further, this further confirms to me as an investor that these are gonna be areas that are gonna be experiencing higher traffic and more volume, furthering the amount of people that are gonna be coming through, staying, living, and working here. This all signals to me that water the region is positioned to grow. So investments in the right things and significant investments in the right things signals to me as an investor that water the region is gonna to continue to grow in the future, and that's important. Now the sixth factor is gonna be the lifestyle. This is what attracts people to come here and most importantly, stay living in Waterloo Region. They stay and they live here, they're employed, they're investing in the area, those are all great signs. And this is what you need to know if you're not familiar with the area. Now I have grown up and lived in Waterloo Region off and on for the last 25 years. This is my home. And there's a lot of factors that make this area a great place to live. And including, but not limited to, we got multiple shopping centers and lots of big box and small local shops in different areas. You got your Belmont Village, you got your downtown Kitchener Market, you got your boardwalk with all the big box stores and everything that you're gonna need if you're living on that side of town. As well, you have lots of events. Water the region is big enough that we can get festivals and we can get concerts. We have a large concert hall, we have a large park that does the festivals downtown, and we also have lots of other things. Breweries, we got the Kitchener Rangers, we got a junior hockey team here, guys big city stuff, that's what I'm talking about. And we also have lots of access to outdoor activities, lots of small markets and hamlets and towns around Waterloo Region that have fantastic trails. And not to mention the Grand River, the big ticket river that's going through Waterloo Region. This has lots of trails and lots of events around it, as well as lots of super sweet little spots to stop along the way. For those of you that aren't familiar with Waterloo Region, Uptown Waterloo, lots of bars and clubs. That's where all the students are. That's where a lot of local businesses are. Old school, really established. Downtown Kitchener, very similar feel. Lots of business, lots of restaurant, lots of amenities. And then over near Cambridge, you have a couple different sections between different Galts, Hespler, downtown area that are gonna offer all the amenities you're gonna be and need if you're in the cities. Furthermore, you're driving distance to a lot of other amenities, including little towns and cities like your Guelphs, like your Alora, not too far from beach towns, not too far from wine country, and a driving distance from cottage country as well. So not only are we located close to other things you're gonna need, but right here in Waterloo Region, it is big enough and diverse enough to offer enough fun for you and the whole family. This is important to note as somebody that's thinking about moving here, but as well as an investor, you're gonna to wanna to know that this market is an area that has things that people are going to enjoy, so they're actually likely to stay and grow in that local marketplace. So as an investor, I wanna make sure I'm looking at areas that have things and amenities to keep people living there, and Water the Region has that in spades. Fun fact on a lifestyle note, did you know Water the Region hosts the second largest international Oktoberfest in the world? Pros to that. Now the seventh and final, and arguably the most important factor on why Waterloo Region is an awesome place to invest in is the real estate market itself. And we're just gonna pause right there. It's important to note that Kitchener, Waterloo, and Cambridge are the three largest cities and that make up the bulk of Waterloo Region and they're super old cities that have grown into each other. And that's important to know is understanding that Waterloo Region is very diverse in the offerings of types of real estate investments that you can actually make. And it's important to note that each of these old cities that have grown into each other have their own downtown cores with their own century homes kind of surrounding and your downtown core has your things like your condo buildings, your apartments, your mid rises, and a lot of the amenities. Outside of that, the majority of the cities were developed between the 50s and the 80s by a lot of German and Dutch developers. They're building you know, larger frontage compared to what you get nowadays, larger depth, bigger lots, more mature, some custom neighborhoods. These are a little bit more established and what we would consider maybe midtown neighborhoods. All three of those major cities, Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, have them. And all three of those cities also have newer developments on the outskirts of the town, which would be your newer suburbs. Your you know, neighborhoods that are 15 years or newer and pre-construction neighborhoods that are currently being developed. Important to see and important to note that those areas are still getting built out. There is room for outside expansion, not just intensification and building up in these local markets. That's great to know as investors, but also important to know that there's a lot of different types of investments you can make in real estate from residential, from 
from older areas to midtown to newer areas, as well as multi-units, commercial mixed use, industrial. There's a lot of different types of investments you can make as a real estate investor here in Waterloo Region. And now finally, important to note that we have all these awesome things, but the demand is still very strong. There is still very strong demand from locals, whether it be people moving or investors, as well as other people moving and investing in Waterloo Region from outside areas. And it's also important to note that Waterloo Region is still relatively affordable considering its proximity to areas like the GTA and other markets that are a similar distance. Above and beyond that as an investor, and I'll leave you with this, is there is still cash flow positive properties that you can find on market in Waterloo Region. This is a fantastic thing for investors, especially for myself as an investor, I look for cash flow positive properties. And the fact that there are still cash flow positive properties, and what I say by that is even if you're going an 80-20 mortgage, a lot of these properties that we're looking at, there is still a lot of investment properties available that will offer positive cash flow in Waterloo Region, making it attractive for myself as an investor and potentially for you. So for those of you that are looking to do some more research on Waterloo Region, we have some helpful links in the description to get you started. We are also really active in the comments section, so leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about Waterloo Region, any specific questions you have, and we'll get back to you in the comments below. For those of you that are considering moving or investing here and have some specific questions, go into the comments section or go to the Contact Us link in the description. We'll set up a call, answer all of your questions, and give you the resources you need to make sure that you're making the right move. For everything else, hit that subscribe button, make sure you got notifications on and go follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll be sharing more updates on Waterloo Region, more updates on investing in real estate and everything you're gonna need to know about the Waterloo Region real estate market. Until then, we'll see you next time.